some of the earlier highlights for her, though. A birdie try at the second to get it to eight under par. Two-time All-American at the University of Florida. Another birdie chance from the edge at five. Five, the first par three on the golf course. And, uh, boy, you're looking forward to the rest of the day when you're rolling the ball that well early. Three par threes on the opening nine here at Locust Hill Country Club. Bogey at seven, so she was nine under. This, her third at the par five eighth. Got it to hole high in two. And she would make that putt coming. Sandra Gall, the 24-year-old from Germany, had a 64 in the opening round, but followed that up with a 73 yesterday. But she's at 10 under, this to get it to 11. Had a tough back nine yesterday, and she's 509. You mentioned the par fives out here. We got 17 up above uh, or up ahead, which is reachable. Sandra Gall and Jane Crafter is there for her third. Well, Sandra had a chance to reach it, Terry. Had about 228 to the whole location. Did not hit a good shot. It's off in the primary rough on the right. A little sand wedge from about 45 yards. Up and over the bunker. And very nicely judged for distance. Now that's a very good shot from there. Yes. All right, to 11 now live, and Gall to tie for the lead. Oh. Oh, and a lot more right to left break than she expected there. Yeah, we got a little look. She kind of took her body with it. She was wishing just a little bit. Not yeah. that we're all not prone <laughs> to do that. Here's how we stand. G.A. Shin with a one-shot lead over Morgan Pressel. Now to 12. Some tree problems here in the rough for Sandra Gao. Yeah, gusty wind from left to right when all players uh, managed to miss the fairway on the right here. Gao right underneath this oak tree. She does have a shot out to the left, but the bunkers uh, guarding the green are going to be a problem. And that's mm. a cardinal error, Terry and Judy. You have to get it back onto the fairway somehow. That's about 79 yards by my calculations. This rough a combination of bluegrass and rye. Okay. Alright, I'll just open it up a little bit and make it go swing. Good. Uh, let's go like two or three yards right. Okay. One of the slopiest greens on the golf course, just short and left, would be absolutely perfect. Not much room short, and it's only on four. Yeah, and you can't be completely confident uh, no. that you can set the ball down really quickly out of this kind of rough. Well, I think at this point, Judy, anything within uh, 10, 15 feet, she'd be extremely happy with. really hear how thick that grass was. She is compounding error. Uh, she didn't want to do that for the longest time and now, earlier gall from the bunker. 12. Sandra Gall, this for bogey. And a touchy little putt it is. Oh, big putt for her though. That was extremely well done. Not for Sandra Gall. And just from 114 yards, just a little pitching wedge. Played it to perfection. For birdie. Now there you go, Judy. Back to 10 under at 14 on the tee. Sandra Gall. And an important fairway to hit. Wind coming at the players and from the right. This one's starting to turn left. Yeah, soft conditions though, Jane keeping that just inside. Yeah, we got that word as uh, Laura Davies, who will play on the European team, went there to play a practice round and said it might have been the harder courses she's ever played. Which is saying something. She's played a few courses. And in she her can day. get it out there too. Sandra Gall, second at 14. You look at the numbers on here seven cuts made in 11 events so far this year. And from just about a yard inside the fairway's edge, tearing 125 to this right hole location. Wind from the right. It's a strong pitching wedge. Going slightly left of the flag. And that's poorly judged. That's going to be one. All right, at 14, Sandra Gall. 
and a difficult lie back here. The bowl is sitting down, a lot of grass behind it. And her problem. Deep par. And once our 315, yeah. Sandra Go. And change clubs back to an eight iron. Downwind. Very high in the air. Yep. It's a big carry with the eight iron to carry it up on top. <coughs> Clearly not enough yep. club. Sandra Gall, this for par. Had that very long putt from the front and up over the ridge in the green. Good three. She does get that body in the 16. Gall on the tee. Wind coming from the right, and this is going to be perfect. And quite long. Get back there just a second. Meanwhile, at 16, Sandra Gall. And just a little pitching wedge from 101 right. yards downhill. It's a little shorter than the yardage. Right. Gall for birdie at 16. And from above the hole to the left, downhill, about 25 feet. And swing sharply to her right. And be quite quick. Judy, but not that quick, Terry. As a former captain of the Solheim Cup, would you, like Paul Azinger told Kenny Perry, make it um, a required fourth here at 17? Yeah, had some tree trouble, uh, had to punch out. Just a delicate little chip from the fringe. Oh in tournaments and this is a player you don't want to let get ahead of you. She hits it right down the middle every time. Gall for par, that's due and right, you right. can forget about that if it's in there. Gall on the tee at 18. And uphill par 4, 385, slightly into the breeze today and from the left and an excellent right. tee right. shot. <laughs> Crucial to hit this fairway. All right, Sandra Gall here at 18 in the fairway. After a perfect tee shot, 21 24 to the front and hold is on nine in the center of the lower tier. 133 uphill into the breeze and she's pulled this a little left. On it all, you will see very, very few inaccuracies from that player. Sandra Gall for birdie. Yeah. 